Good morning, everybody. It is 6 a.m. I woke up bright and early, so I'm having a cup of coffee. <music> Everyone's doing well. It is now 9.16. Made a bacon sandwich. I'm going to dr drink it. Now I'm going to eat it with a cup of coffee, which I will drink. And um, that's it. I have my list for the meeting this afternoon. Quite the list because like we said, Hell Week we have today and next Thursday and yearbook is well and truly over. So uh, yeah, crazy, crazy guys. I, I text everyone to say, I hope you're going to be at the meeting today. Not one response. Whenever I text, no one responds. Pete re te texts, he gets responses. I guess after me being at all the meetings, it, I just don't count. I'm too nice. Anyway, we've already had a, a run in with a parent today. Um, same one every year, same issue, different kid. It's not happening. Anyway, I'm going to love and leave you for now. I'm watching a bit of Carnation Street or from last June which is on Hulu. If anyone has Hulu, Carnation Street and Holly Oaks is on there. Guys, I'm in shock. Remember I was complaining about the garbage yesterday being all over the road? They've actually sent a crew out and they're going up the street with huge dustbins and picking stuff up that I've never seen that in all my years of living here. And I've lived here since Ash was two. That's why the word came out so weird because I knew I was going to start coughing. <coughs> yeah, uh, we moved into this house when Ash was two, two and a half, two, two and a half, and um, never seen that happen. So I don't know if people on the street or the neighborhood have complained, but hey, more power to them. So the car sitting in the sun says 71. I've been absolutely freezing in the house. Hey guys. I am off to the school. It is 10 past two. I'm leaving now so I can get a spot. And uh, second to last yearbook meeting. Woo -woo. One, it is now 16.34. I just got back from the yearbook meeting, took the dogs out and made a cup of tea. Um, I need it. I'm parched. A lot of talking in today's meeting. We didn't have many show up today. We had two, four, so eight and three had to leave almost immediately, but everybody, there was like eight things to do, so it was perfect, even though one of our girls did two things, so did the other one. So our two seniors that have been with me for the last four years, I'm gonna really miss them. Um, they were asking why I didn't get in the yearbook picture and how are they gonna remember me? I'm like, you'll just remember me by the annoying voice. <laughs> Oh, no, they make me feel so good. They're so sweet. Why don't you like your pictures taken? So I had a bit of an interrogation. But anyway, they make it worth it. Um, as much as I was annoyed this morning, these guys make me happy. They've done such a nice job and they've done so much work. We just want to do something for them before they leave. Um, definitely going to try and have a get together with all of them we say this every year and then everybody disappears and nobody responds but I think this year they will even if it's a half a dozen of them because some of them didn't show up let's be real some of them didn't show up for the meetings at all even though they showed up for the picture they showed up for the first few meetings it's a long haul we start in September so September October November December January February March April it's eight months almost a whole pregnancy which is you're producing a book it is almost, well actually Pete and I do start over the summer. Pete gets the picture done for the cover and we get the theme sorted out. Well, when I got there today, I got there nice and early and I got a parking spot, even though my parking spot, my parking job looked terrible when I came out of the school just now. Pete's looking at it, I'm like, no, there was a car way over the line and then there was a big truck. So I kind of had to wangle my way in and I said, I could barely get out of my side of the car and it looks like I parked terribly. So uh, it wasn't me. I <laughs> should have taken a picture to prove it if anyone said anything. Oh my God. The photographer's wife, that's what I'm known as. The photographer's wife can't park a car. I can park a car. Can't I, Roxy? Park plenty of cars in my time. Even my dad was proud of me. Oh, beg your pardon. When I was a nanny, I used to drive this humongous boat of a car. And um, when dad and mum came over for the engagement party, they let me, you know, I used to drive the car around. 
and we went to get something. And Dad goes, you'll never parallel park into that spot. I said, oh, I will. He goes, this car's way too big. The spot's not big enough. I did it in one shot, and it's the first time my dad ever said, oh, my God. He goes, I never would have thought you would get that in there. He goes, I couldn't have got it in there. I'm like, the, that's what I'm used to driving over here, like the big car. It was a big boat of a car. I should find one online and show you. It was massive. It was more than an estate. It was like an estate and a half. Anyway, um, yeah, got me rosy cheeks from being in that room again. Very hot. It's really nice out. It's breezy. Just as we were getting towards the end of the meeting, there was only a couple of us left. Pete shows up because Pete came for 3.30 and he did the team picture. He's doing varsity softball. So he did the team picture. The game starts at 4.30, so it, he came in to see us. Um, and I walked out with him and he went around to now he's doing pictures of the game and then he's going over to that other job tonight. So I was, go I was in two minds whether to sit and watch the game but I'm like, I just want to come home now and have a cup of tea and uh, get the dogs. So I left the dogs down here again. But they were both very good, weren't you? They're both sitting here staring at me and I'm not really quite sure why because I've given them biscuits. Hello. <laughs> They're like, where have you been? What have you been? I feel like I'm being questioned with the eyes. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Why did you leave us home alone? What's going on? Anyway, it is now 22 five Ashley gets her schedule she's on till six and then she'll be home and then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do for dinner and Pete will be home like last night probably quarter to 11 11 o'clock again he said um we did go in though and have a look at the set he wanted me to see the set for the play it looks so good they said wait do you see the lighting now I kind of want to do go and see it that didn't make sense I want to go and see it really kind of sort of because they're saying how good it is. But then we're walking out of the school, and this young man's walking the opposite way, and Pete's like, Sue. And he's pointing at the guy, and the guy's looking at Pete, and I'm looking at Pete going, yes. He goes, we have your pictures. We have his pictures. So I'm like, the guy's looking at me, and I'm like looking at Pete going, I'm not sure who it is. I said, what's his name? And he gives me his first name. I said, what's his last name? And he goes, the pictures, the pictures, Sue, the pictures. I'm like... Okay, senior pictures. Okay, there's some on the table. I don't know who who their orders are for, though. And the guy's just looking and laughing. And Dad goes, the pictures just came back. Give us a call on Monday. He goes, I haven't put them in folders yet. And the kid's like, okay, I will. <laughs> I was just doing when we got outside. Why did you do that to me? Like, I'm supposed to know everybody in this school by name. I know them by sight, but I haven't looked at the pictures yet. So I don't know what pictures are back. Oh, Pete. 1,575 kids and I get. <laughs> We're going to have a lot more next year, guys. We have a bigger uh, senior class coming up. This year was 309, I think. I don't know if Pete said 320, 340. Um, but anyway, while I was sitting waiting, I couldn't get in the room right away, even though I was really early. I think I stopped. I started telling you. Oh, dear. Um, there was a class in there doing a project so I sat out in the cafeteria and they've sent us the lookbook for next year already to start thinking about themes so I've put about 10 themes down and our finale theme I've got our finale theme and Pete goes we'll get some flack about that one I go it won't be that much flack but it's what people would use but I'm not saying what it is because the day we use that theme if Pete has the nerve to do it It'll be our last one. And I can't really reveal more than that. It's not bad at all. But Pete goes, you know, we'll get some flag. I'm like, it's just a name like every other. This year is, is why well, I don't even want to say what it is because usually we wait till the book comes out. We've done Carpe Diem. We've done puzzle, puzzle pieces. We've done chapters. We've done We Are. We did the, our very first theme was we are dot, dot, dot. And it was like all the different groups in the school we brought together in the book. It's like, we are a community. It was good. I can't remember, there's one more and I can't remember what it is. One day I'll show you all the covers that we've done, all the books that we've done. We've been, we've done a 2012, no we didn't. We started 2013. So we started the yearbook 2013. We started pictures 2011. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This is our seventh year doing the yearbook. 
It's our seventh year doing the yearbook. Wait. Do we start 13 or 14? 11, 12, 13. I think it was 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is our seventh yearbook. Holy mackerel. Anyway, I've, wow, I've spoken way too long. I'll talk to you guys later. I need my tea. Lou's having a roll about. He's just been outside and drank a gallon of water. Ashley's having her faithful eggs on toast. Roxy's being a faithful com a companion. How was work today, Ash? Well, no, it was crazy. It was busy. And you had one makeover, you said? Literally the first hour I was running around, chicken with my head cut off. <laughs> then I had a makeover, the second hour I was there. Then the third hour was crazy again. Then I went on break, came back to more craziness. <laughs> it was nice today, so a lot of people were out and about. Yeah, it was only a six-hour shift, but it felt like ten. Yeah. And you just got booked for two makeovers at seven in the morning, right? Yep. Baby shower. Sometime hey, in May. Is she after your dinner? Yeah. Roxy, behave. Back up. Back it up. Anyway, my A1 was supposed to come today and it hasn't. You can see the blue glow around the door. I'm keeping that bulb in until the end of April. And we're watching Little Women Atlanta. It's now 10, what is it, Ash? 10.20. Pete just called, he's on his way home. I just ate two pieces of that mushroom flatbread from Trader Joe's. Gonna see if Pete wants the other two pieces when he gets in, wash the dishes. Ashes, what are you getting, a Corona? She's having a Corona. Cheers, mate. After a, she's got- And a fudge. And a, and a fudge. And a fudge, a finger of fudge is just enough to give the kids a treat. Anyway. <laughs> quite the combo anyway guys i'm gonna love and leave you for this evening i hope everybody had a brilliant brilliant thursday whatever it is you did today i hope it was a good one we would definitely see you tomorrow good night mm -hmm.